hello so in this example let's create architecture wall material schedule so let's go back to our project and for this purpose from rockwell material project i will use wall material schedule template i can just Control C, Control V to my paper sheet, and it will copy this information inside my project. After you copy, you look for this wall material schedule, and it is created to calculate materials uh, in 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 the project, and uh, it is calculating according to the code which is used in Rockwell uh, materials and wall description. So in, in this case I want to calculate uh, all, the, all the materials of my walls so I will turn off template for this uh, shadow. I will delete the first part of the name and I go to the settings and I will choose parameters and and from type mark I choose none I use sorting let's say this information and from here I change parameters back to the real position keynote And this we can write some code which gives us connection with real materials from the uh, structural material shop. So you can type barcode of the material from the market and it will be nice connection with it. Wave type mark, thermal resistance parameter and value declared by Rockwell okay our settings okay and from here we can see our name of our material and let's check one more time yeah so here I want to see what are the different wall types so I create these calculations for my different wall types and from here I want to calculate volume calculate totals and it calculates total volume for different type of materials and in here I just want to to have okay maybe only title but it's not available on the title so just let's leave it like that so this number should uh, have some connection with the previous schedule, ball schedule. So from here I see the area and I don't see volume in here. Okay. So I see volume in this part. And also it's important to decide which parameter, calculation parameter is important for the uh, material. Is it volume or is it area? if it's area so you can implement additional parameter in here and you can use this simple shadow for your uh, materials and from here you can implement some keynote codes 
to organize all the materials uh, as they are organized in your wall.